Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, thank you to Dutch Pierce. And again, some of you are going to eat this up, and some of you are going to be like, what the hell am I listening to? But this is pretty interesting, but I don't know what I'm really listening to. And that's what makes demo number nine... From Ungodly Chariot, Demo 9 from Outer Space, on um, Moon Worshipper, so gnarly. Extremely lo-fi black metal with, like, an Outer Space alien vibe, and even with, like, vocals that don't sound human. It's awesome. And look at E.T., just straight chillin'. I love this. Like, it's weird. It's really good. Like, if you can get past how just strange it sounds at first listen. And just the more you dig into it, the sicker it is. Like, especially Brain in a Can. That song is just great. But the cover art is just worth looking at because it is fantastic. Even, like, the inlay is just... I really love the design. And it's not because they're from Pennsylvania that I love it. It's because it's something that, to me, is extremely refreshing. Like, releases like this, you know... To me, like, they're kind of hard to come by... And every now and again, like, I'll run into some stuff that's a little bit out of the usual. And, like, for a while, I just had this, like, digitally and would occasionally, like, check it out on, like, uh, Bandcamp and stuff. And Dutch sent over a physical copy, and I was like, yo, like, this is, like, ridiculous. And, like, at first, I, like didn't know really how to feel about it physically because it was just like just super cool and like I, I was like all right like can't be biased about it like yeah it sounds cool but like let's keep listening and it just kept getting more and more interesting like with each minute that kept passing like for example just Like, I don't know how he's getting that sound right. There's no synthesizers. It even says right here, no synths. So that's a guitar. Go ahead. Like, he's tremolo picking and somehow getting that sound. I think, I think it's, that's how he's getting that. It might, no, 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 I was going to say, it might be a loop. No, because I remember the, 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 the drum build, there's a drum build up. Ungodly Chariot's really cool, seriously. Demo 9 from Outer Space, like Plan 9 from Outer Space. Very cool. It's just, it's such a good listen if you're in the mood to get weird. Good. 
thumb dance. What? What the fuck? It's awesome. What the further you travel on this demo. The weirder it gets, but also, I want to get to this one track. Because it's just, wow. Like, when I first heard it, I was just like, fucking A, this is sick. Straight up. It's like Dark Throne in outer space. That's the best way I can describe this. I want to get to this one track because uh, it's so good. But I'll go over the track list in a second. Yeah, here we go. I know my microphone sucks, but... This song is worth buying this. Tape copies still exist. Again, not for everyone. But let me get to to me the like the real there's like a real banger on here. Yeah, here we go. It's just like Some of you are just like, what? What's even happening? You'll see. A little sample. Like, if you're a fan of extreme music, like, this is extreme music. Every song on Demo 9 from Outer Space, I feel like you just have to sit down and put this on and just, you know, it probably would help to... Like, 
this is to me like one of the bangers but I love all the tracks on here right into like black metal if I remember. Listen to this. Yeah. If you like something I would like you to check out on your own, obviously, because I cannot get the sound I really would like out of my microphone. But tapes are still available, $6 on Moon Worshipper, link to be in the video description. I suggest legit give this a listen before pulling the trigger, just because it's not for everybody. But if you're a fan of experimental, like, weird black metal from outer space look no further than ungodly chariot and ungodly chariot ubik classified vacuum death brain in a can and fatal adaptation and the artwork by wampus cat is just gnarly like i said i absolutely love the cover uh, mastered by TN, layout by NB, and mixed by Kurthon. But also all songs written and recorded under the presides, or persides, um, am I really drawing a blank? I think it's 20, yeah, 2021. Ungodly Chariot is Sarzan. Sarzion, Sarzon. How about just awesome? I really like, you know, how they have E.T. like with a, a no synth with like exclamation points. E.T. no synth. E.T. no synth. I like in the movie, like when E.T. gets drunk and he like walks into the fucking wall. When I was a little kid, I thought, or like when he's watching the movie and like, his, like, I used to be able to do the E.T. noise. I can't do it anymore, but I used to laugh so hard. Like when E.T. like, he, he throws like the beer can at the TV and he makes this like ridiculous noise. But Ungodly Chariot, Demo 9 from Outer Space, obviously not for everybody. But if you're a fan of experimental, lo-fi, black metal, yeah, I feel like this is something definitely worth your time. Pennsylvania experimental goodness. And I love the Moon Worshipper logo. It's, it's really small here, but it's so sick. And Moon Worshipper has a lot of stuff I like, you know, like weird, ambient, you know. Stuff that I know a lot of you are just like about. And I get it, you know. But 
ungodly chariot if you're a fan of black metal like i said you're gonna find something to love about this but just trust me at first you might be like what is like what is like, this is crazy sounding and uh if you're down to take you know an adventure in your brain this would be a really good uh like when you feel it to start when you feel it start kicking in throw this bad boy on and see where it takes you because it might take you, you know, to a real gnarly place. But sonically, this is, you know, experimental lo-fi black metal from outer space. But technically from the Keystone State. So definitely check out Ungodly Chariot Demo 9 from Outer Space on Moon Worshipper Records. And thank you to Dutch for making today's video possible. Thank you for watching. And it's humid as shit. It's almost been a year anniversary since my accident. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of, like, stressing me out for some weird reason. And I was told this might happen, so, you know, it is what it is, but... At the same time, you know, I'm a little, it's just one of those things, I'm just antsy that it's been a year, and I still, like, don't have a definitive, like, here's when you can do this. It's, I wish it was that fucking simple, but it's not. Like. It's like, oh, well, your brain images are out of date now. It's like, dude, it took me six months to even get that appointment. What do you mean they're out of date? Like, ah, it's just so frustrating. But it's, hey, I'm not paralyzed. I'm not dead. Like, you know, it could be a lot worse than, like, not being able to headbang ever again. Or, you know, the whole one more head injury and you're dead. Deal. Like, I understand that 100%. Like, I I really get it. And I know a lot of people, dude, how come you haven't been going to shows? Well, for one, I, I don't even want to get into it. But for a while, I was asking a specific venue, is it okay if I sit next to your sound guy? I broke my neck. I cannot have, you know, a random, you know, like, Air Force One take me out, like, from somebody crowd surfing, like, so, all I wanted was to sit next to the sound guy, I did not think that would be a big deal at all, as, technically, you're dealing with a handicapped, you know, patron, but, it doesn't work like that. Like, I mean, I had to have the guys from Gravesend, like, legit, like, go up and be like, yo, like, you know, one of our fans, like, he's been trying to get a hold of you guys so he can get, it, you know, a safe spot at the show due to this injury, and, like, nobody's responding to him, and they got me a seat and shit, but it was just a little bit too late. But I just really appreciated it. And why am I not at Maryland Death Fest? I have tickets somewhere, but dude, I have I have been trying for about three weeks now to find those emails. I have no idea where they went. But I definitely had tickets in 2019. I was good, and now yeah, I'm gonna. I'm trying to make it to Sunday, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. But if I do, I'll let you folks know. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Go check out Ungodly Chariot, demo number nine from Outer Space, and get weird. Hails. Hails. <laughs>